Hello, developers. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate you for covering all OpenStack service-related exam objectives. Now you have entered the last section, troubleshooting and final tips. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with troubleshooting. Here we will show you the OpenStack troubleshooting skills. We will look at debugging the CLI. When you use Python OpenStack client or the traditional service-based clients, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. To see the API calls being made, we can use the debug flag to see the requests and responses in real time. Let's try using it with the debug command. Ensure that you source the OpenRC file before running it. Wow, that's a lot of text. How can we decipher this? As you already know from the first section, we communicate with the RESTful APIs via the HTTP protocol. To understand the debug, we can look for the requests and responses being made to the Keystone and Nova APIs. Next, we will be managing OpenStack daemons. If we are using an operating system with the system D in its system, we can easily use the system CTL command to start, stop, or check the status of any OpenStack daemons running on a particular server. For example, to check the status of the Nova API service, we can run the sudo system ctl status nova api command. On running this, we get this result. This shows us that the nova api service is currently running and will be started on reboot, enabled. If the service was stopped, we could easily start it back up by running the start nova api command, as shown here. If we want to restart a service, we can run the restart Nova API command. Next, we will look at important OpenStack service directories. When an OpenStack infrastructure engineer installs a brand new service in an OpenStack environment, the OpenStack services package will most likely use these directories by default. As discussed in the previous section, OpenStack services write log files in this location. The OpenStack service operating system packages automatically set up the log rotate program to tar and compress old OpenStack log files, thus avoiding excessive storage consumption. The exception to this default log directory is Keystone and Swift. We will now be managing MySQL. As an OpenStack administrator, you will most likely rely on an experienced database administrator for all OpenStack-related database maintenance. There are some basics for working with a MySQL MariaDB, which should put you in good shape for the exam. We can use the MySQL command line tool to explore MySQL on our virtual appliance. After connecting, we can run this MariaDB command to see all OpenStack service databases. When we run this, we get a database list as shown. To use a specific database, we can run the use Nova command. To see all the tables in the Nova database, we can run this show tables command. Here we have 110 rows. If you want to see all the data regarding our virtual machine instances, we can run the select from instances command. Here we get 28 sets. To exit the MySQL or MariaDB prompt, run the exit. When this is executed, we get the message bye. If we wanted to perform an SQL dump of a specific database, you can run this code. To restore an SQL dump, run this line of code. By now, you should have a solid understanding of successfully meeting all troubleshooting-related objectives in the COA exam.